more housing density development. All key words for those who want to transform our city. Now another idea has come forth to create a brand new community along the lake, although some say this isn't the place to put it. An exciting piece of land is just underutilized and with the, the road cutting right next to it and a huge buffer land between the boulevard and uh, the highway, it's just parkland that's not actually being used. Imagine another portion of Toronto's waterfront, the western beaches to be specific, as a place to live. 30 acres designed to include multiple towers with room for 7,500 condos and retail space while trying to keep what exists today, parkland for walking, cycling, and sitting by the lake. But it would also mean moving Lakeshore Boulevard closer to the gardener. If we just shift the road and utilize all that new land, now you can actually have functioning park space, maybe use that for new homes, uh, and, and actually be able to, to do a lot of things that make a new community, exciting new community on the water. Brent Haynes is a young designer with a master plan, but those strolling through the area today are split when presented with what it would look like. I think it's beautiful as is, especially in the summertime, to keep it and not to have buildings, no. There's already enough buildings everywhere else. What does that look like to you? I think it looks really good, like a new community for people who, you know, has a bigger space for places like scenery. Creating a community with public squares and picnic enclaves in this part of the city presents problems though, including traffic and access to the lake, according to those who have done it before. What it would tend to do is privatize or make that stretch of the Western beaches really, it, has, it would have a bike lane, but it wouldn't have a public street along that edge. Public transit is also an issue, but the creator contends there would be ways for people to come and go and for all to enjoy the experience. That'd be great for the city, great for tourists, great for new homeowners to come here and live. I think it'd be an excellent spot to do that. While Haynes has put more than a year of his own time into this project, it needs to be noted that this isn't an official plan or proposal, just another idea for transforming our city up for discussion. Mark McAllister, City News.